back, everybody. This is part of Sports Child's birthday special. We're going to play some games on the play today. Sugar is part of Starting with Jeopardy. Let's see how it goes. Go ahead and kill the music, please. Thank you. Get the ending cue music uh, done, ready for the final part for the end of the video. You can hit Tiger. Alright, here we go. Hi folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Okay, set the game up exactly the way you like. What'll it be? Okay, one human and two computer players. Player one, what's your name? And I'll just use my own name, as always. Oh. oh, there we go. Okay, go up. That's it. Uh-oh. Alright, and we'll just use uh, my own name here. Finish it off, and we're set to go. From the Sony Pictures Studios, this is Jeopardy! It's time for Jeopardy. Good luck in this first round. Thank you. Let's see if you like these categories. I hope I do. Feeling gouty. Sports weights and measures. Celebrities, word origins, treaties, saints. Let's begin. Let's get things underway, player one. <coughs> Start with celebrities for a minute. On March 20, 1969, he married Yoko Ono in the registrar's office in Gibraltar. Player one. John Lennon. John Lynn. Exactly. All right, pick again. This Murder, She Wrote star provided the voice of Mrs. Potts, the teapot, in Beauty and the Beast. Player one. Is Angela Lansbury. That's it. All right, pick again. While considered an Australian, this Lethal Weapon star was actually born in Peekskill, New York. Player one. Who is Mel Gibson? Yes, indeed. Good. All right, pick again. She left husband Ludlow Smith after two weeks. Her love affair with Spencer Tracy lasted 27 years. Player one. <laughs> Uh, Catherine Hepburn? That's it. Yep. All right, pick again. Country music star Christina Simonella Judd goes by this first name. Player one. What is Winona? You are correct. All right, pick again. Uh, let's have Bill and Gabby go 
Most of that kind of grow out of the way. A joint in this part of the body is the most likely spot to be hit by gout. Layer one. What is the foot? Uh -oh. That is incorrect. My butt! Player three. Oh, the toe, yeah. That's it, exactly. That the takes toe. you into second place. Okay. What will it be, player three? In 1997, the journal Nature reported that this giant meat-eating dinosaur may have been a gout sufferer. Player one. What is the Tyrannosaurus Rex? You are correct. Uh-huh. What'll it be, player one? Oh, let's keep it going. Gout didn't stop this reformer from nailing his 95 theses to a Wittenberg church door. Player one? Um, who is, um, uh, uh, who, uh, uh, who is Martin Luther? To be sure. All right, there we go. All right, pick again. This resort city, once a haven for British gout victims, gave uh, its name to a type of wheelchair. Well, Anybody? Here is city the city of Bath. Response. All right. All right, pick again. This author was crippled by gout. Blithfield's mother dies of it in his novel, Tom Jones. Um, Player one? Henry Fielding. Oh. Why, yes. All right, pick again. Um, six for a hundred. Let's go there. No actual details are known about the life of this patron saint of England. Player one? Who is St. George? Why, yes. All right, pick again. Saint Erasmus, the patron saint of sailors, gets all fired up under this other name. Player one. What is Elmo? Yes, indeed. I almost fire yet. All right, pick again. He's known for asking Jesus, Quo vadis Domine? and being crucified upside down. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try this one. Who is Saint Peter? That's right. You're in first place all by yourself. Right again. All right, pick again. Answer. Um, I'm gonna go halfway. Player one, please make your wager. St. Basil the Blessed was an advisor to the Tsar in this city. A church there is named for him. Um, what is one? Moscow? That will say it. Moscow. That's it? Yes. All right, thank you. In the name of St. Gregory Thaumaturgus, Thaumaturgus means wonder worker in this language. Player one? Uh, what is Greek? To be sure. All right. All right, pick again. Uh, sportsman to measure 100. In this ice sport, a goalkeeper's stick blade can't be longer than 15 and a half inches. Player one? What is hockey? Why, yes. Mm -hmm. All right, pick again. For U.S. boxers, 106 pounds through 156 pounds, they weigh 10 ounces. Player one? What are gloves? Boxing gloves. That's right. Yep. All right, Keep pick again. From home plate to this base, it's 127 feet, 3 and 3 8 inches. Player one. What is second base? No. <clears throat> That's it. Yep. Try it again.
again. All right, pick again. Under testing conditions, a legal ball in this sport shouldn't travel more than 280 yards plus 6%. Player one. What is golf? That's it. All right, pick again. In the NBA, the upper edge of the basket is this many feet off the ground. Player one. What is 10? <clears throat> That's it. All right, pick again. Uh, the 1815 Treaty of Paris was signed after his final defeat at Waterloo. Player one. Who is Napoleon? Yes. Absolutely. All right, pick again. This treaty, signed in France in June 1919, didn't take effect until January 10, 1920. What is Player the one? Treaty of Versailles? Exactly. Thank you. All right, pick again. The major issue settled by 1842's Webster-Ashburton Treaty was the disputed border of Canada and this northeast state. Player one. What is Maine? That's it, exactly. All right, pick again. Reached in 1993, the second of these treaties calls for Russia and the U.S. to reduce their nuclear warheads by two-thirds. Here is oh, the correct response. Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty. All right, pick again. U.S. and British representatives in Europe signed this treaty December 24, 1814. Player one. I'm going to try this one. I'm going to say what is the Treaty of Ghent. That's correct. Yep. All right, pick again. Now on to word origins. Let's go there. This synonym for enormous comes from the name of a famous elephant exhibited by P.T. Barnum. Player one. What is Jumbo? Why, yes. Absolutely. All right, pick again. Llama and quinine are among the words derived from Quechua, the language of this ancient empire. Player one. What is the Inca Empire? Exactly. Yep. All right, pick right. again. The name of this black and white bear-like mammal is believed to be a native Nepalese word. Player what one? is a panda? Yes, indeed. All right, pick again. Popular winter sports equipment, whose name is from Old Norse for sticks of wood. Player one. Uh, what are skis? <clears throat> That's it, exactly. Yeah, right again. And Last to one. finish the board. This other name for a divan is derived from the Arabic word for a platform or bench. Player three. Is it a sofa? Correct. Yep. All right, that's the end of the Jeopardy round. I'm in the lead with Let me look at the total scores so far. Player two, we've not heard from. Yet, anyway. Okay, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for Double Jeopardy. Sure is, let's go. Double Jeopardy. Let's play.
Now here are the categories for the double Jeopardy round. Hope we get some good ones here. For the birds. Languages. Take the L. E-L in quotation marks. The National Women's Hall of Fame. Games. Economics. Here we go. Player two, you go first. We start off with player two who we've not heard from yet. The National Women's Hall of Fame. All right. Sure as shootin', this Wild West star, an inspiration for a musical, is in the hall. Player one? Um, uh, who is Calamity Jane? No, it's not Calamity Jane. Um, try a different one instead. Um, who is Annie Oakley? Let's try her instead. That's it. There Player one, go. it's your turn. Uh, the National Women's Hall of Fame. She got the Red Cross to help victims of peacetime disasters, too. Player one? Who is Clara Barton? Clara Bell. Clara Barton. Why, yes. Yep. All right, pick again. The answer is a video game. <laughs> Player one, please make your wager. Not Ruth. But this other babe of sports <laughs> is in the hall. Take a look at your monitor. Who is Babe Didrickson? Player one? That's wrong. No, it's not Babe Didrickson. Here is Mildred the Babe Didrickson Zacharias and put the whole thing. Otherwise, All right, pick it. again. But still the lead, $8,400. Let's keep going. This Maine senator who passed away in 1995 is in the Go hall. Margaret Chase Smith. Oh, yeah. Her name, that name always All right, pick again. Let's keep going. In the hall are this woman and Elizabeth Cady Stanton, founders of the newspaper The Revolution. Player one? I'm going to try this one. I'm going to say who was Susan B. Anthony? You are correct. And All right, pick one. again. $94, we have games, we have economics. Give me economics for 200. Let's get that out of the way. It's the unit of currency of the most populous country in North America. Player one? Dollar. To be sure. Okay. All right, pick again. I'll take economics for 400. In 1990, about two-thirds of Americans over 65 relied on this for over half their income. Player what one? is Social Security? That's it. You're in first place all by yourself. All right, pick again. I'll take uh, economics for 600. The Laffer, the Phillips, and the Lorenz are examples of these lines used by economists. Uh, oh. Anybody? Curves. Okay. All right, let's, let's keep going. All right, pick again. The high-yield, high-risk bonds of the 1980s were known by this four-letter word. Player one? What is junk? Correct. Yep. All right, pick again. Pick it again. The formula to determine this, the CPI, is basically the La Spires Index formula. Player one? What is the Consumer Price Index? Consumer Price Index. Yes, indeed. Thank you. All right, pick again. Um, let me have four of the birds for 200. Answer? Here we go. Yeah, no. All right. I feel good about one. Please make your way. Most canaries produced through selective breeding are this color. Player what one? is yellow? Yes. 
The great horned species of this bird will sometimes feed on related species. Player one. What is an owl? That's it. Yep. All right, pick again. The red leg species of this bird may be the original one in the Christmas pear tree. Player what one. What is a partridge? That's right. All right, pick again. In 1918, William Beebe wrote a monograph of this bird, Epicureans serve under glass. Anybody? Here is the correct response. All right, pick again. The ruby-throated species of this small bird makes an annual non-stop 500-mile migration. Player one. What is a sparrow? Oh, not a Spartacus. Sparrow. Mm, no. Regrettably, no. It is not a sparrow. Anyone? Player two. The hummingbird? Right you are. All right, contestant two. Now player two is on the board, and we're going to take the L. All right, let's try that one. This Israeli airline was founded in 1948. Player one. What is L L L all? However you say it, either or. That's right. Player one, your turn. Um, take the L for me. This country's currency is the colon. Player one. What is one? El Salvador? You are correct. All right, pick again. Legendary South American Indian chief who periodically covered himself in gold dust. Player one. Who is El Dorado? No, not El Doctoro. El Dorado. That's right. All right, pick again. Current weather event off the coast of Peru. Player one. What is El Nino? Yes. All right, pick again. It's the West Texas <coughs> town Marty Robbins made famous in song. Player one. What is El Paso? That's correct. All right, pick again. Uh, games for 200. This is a game of guessing words or phrases acted out, sometimes syllable by syllable. Player what one. Charades? Oh, I need the S. Thank you. Yes, indeed. All right, pick again. <laughs> Keep going. Of bocce, bagatelle, and baccarat. The one that doesn't use balls. Player one. What is Baccarat? Why, yes. All right, pick again. It's the number of dice you toss on your first roll in Yahtzee. Player one. What is... Let's see. What is five? Why, yes. Yeah. I should All right, pick again. In this game, a person whose eyes are covered must determine a person's identity by feeling the face. What is Player one? Black man's bluff? To be sure. All right, pick again. The winner of a game of war winds up with this many cards. Player one. What is 52? Exactly. All right, pick again. Okay, now we got one category left. That is uh, languages. Let's get that out of the way. In the 500s and 600s, it replaced Latin as the official language of the Byzantine Empire. Player one. What is Hebrew? Good guess, but that's wrong. Not Hebrew, okay. Anybody? Greek. Greek. All right. 
All right, pick oh, again. Try again. Keep going. Putangwa, the chief representative of this dialect of Chinese, is based on the speech of Beijing. Player one. What is Mandarin? Correct. All right, pick again. This language belongs to the Canaanite branch of the Northwest Semitic languages. Player two. Hebrew. Why, yes. Now is the time for Hebrew. Player two. Oh, well, it's okay. Keep going. Although Arabic is Tunisia's official language, this has the status of a second national language. Player one. What is French? Yep. That's correct. Last clue. And to finish the board. Geographically, it's the most widely spoken Germanic language. Anybody? Here is the correct response. Oh, well. Final Jeopardy. That's, That's the, the end, end of Double, double Jeopardy. Jeopardy. It's a Let's game. take a look I at the score. Thirty thousand six hundred dollars. I have sitting in front of me. Looks What's like we're going to have a fight for second place. place. Take a look at the category for Final Jeopardy. Toys and games. Oh, that's a good one. Player three, we have your wager, please. Player two, your wager, please. Player one, please make your wager. I'm going to say 14,400. Here's the Final Jeopardy answer. Let's see how everyone did. Thanks, Johnny. We'll find out if I'm right or not. Player three, your question? Sorry, that's incorrect. Not darts. Let's see how much it cost you. Everything, so you wind up with nothing this game. Oh, I guess it's just not your day. I guess not. Player two, your question. Oh, sorry, that's incorrect. How much did it cost you? Sometimes you get a tough one. That you do. Player one, let's take a look at your question. That's right. All right. And your wager was... I'll end up with $45,000 this game, and I'll see you all for the next. That puts you in the lead. Congratulations, Player One. You're the Jeopardy! Champion. Hope you had fun. We did, and we'll see you soon.